Beauty. Heaven Letter Number 4977. July 11, 2014. Beauty. When you are 125 years old, and you look in the mirror, you will be able to say, how beautiful I am. In your 125-year-old physical form, despite wrinkles and such which are nothing but wrinkles. No big deal except in the modern world, lies the bright light of your soul. You see yourself in the mirror, and you see this vitality and bright light of your soul through your own eyes in your reflection in the mirror. Catch yourself unawares now, and you can say, Oh I am beautiful. I never knew this, yet now I do. The light in my eyes is God's light. How could I not be beautiful? This is the new standard of beauty that you are to come from now. Another wonderful thing about this is that you will see God's beauty whenever you meet anyone's eyes. This is how it has been for the great spiritual ones. God's light is God's light. It has no judgment. What could there be to judge? And who would even think of it when there is God's beauty to behold? There is no body alive that does not contain the brilliance of God's light. This is not how people have been looked at, however. There are no ordinary children of mine. Filled with my light, everyone is my light. It is necessary to remember that surface is surface. Surface beauty and surface misdemeanor are a misrepresentation of the beauty of which I speak. I speak of beauty in its essence. If human eyes look to find error, they will find it. A time comes, and it is fast approaching when my beloved children will no longer think in terms of error or lack or possibilities of anything that is not beauty. Yes, this is about opposites again. What if there were no opposite to beautiful, where would less than beauty reside? The truth is that beauty is, and less than beauty is not. This is one of the fallacies of life in the world, the world of lack, the world of supposition, suspicion, and superiority. If there were no superiority, there would be no inferiority. In the world, human beings are found wanting. Everyone is not a great world success. Everyone is not valued by all other human beings. The world decides that there are people who are supposed to be something else than how they appear to eyes that see flaws blatantly. To begin with, everyone is suspect. Anyone's footsteps could be those of an enemy. Friends are born. Enemies are made by opinion. Thoughts exist. Reality exists, yet you may have heretofore missed the true reality. May have? Certainly must have only because of your thoughts and the thoughts of those around you, and what you read about or see in movies and all that which gets imprinted upon your mind. Now you are ready to leave thoughts of danger behind. Thoughts of danger are dangerous. No matter how evident or far-flown, thoughts of lesser or more prevent you from life in all its beauty. Thoughts of danger close you from life. You slam the door of your mind relative to other phases, because of infractions of some code you hold rigidly somewhere in the recesses of your mind. Therefore, you may see first-rate people and second-rate people. You may even assign yourself as second class, somehow not worthy of the award I gave to you as a mighty child of mine. And so you keep yourself out of the beauty of life. You disown yourself. You have no right. I appointed you the judger of no man. I appointed you the judger of no one, including yourself. If you have a wrong to right, it is this wrong of judgment. What a boundary judgment is. How it blocks my divine light. Remove the blinders. Unlock the doors to my light. My light shines brightly in my one child. When my light shall be seen in everyone everywhere, my will shall be done. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org